Hey everybody, um, today I want to show you how to make this. It's a cake stand, uh, obviously, right? Um, I thought this was a perfect time to do this DIY just because the holidays are coming around the corner and there's going to be a lots of cakes and treats served and what better way to serve them on a pretty cake stand. So, this project is super easy to make and it's extremely cheap. Um, the entire cost for this project will be $2. Unless, if you don't have this, this is E6000, this is a really, really good clear transparent glue. This does cost $3.99 at Hobby Lobby, but you can use the 40% off coupon. So, what you need to do is get a glass plate and a candlestick or goblet. For this pr um, project, I'm going to use a goblet. So, what you're going to need to do is have your goblet, and at the top, you're going to um, apply the E6000 around the rim of the glass. Just like this, all the way around. Okay, and then once you're done with that, you're going to get your plate and you're going to center it as much as you can. And then you're going to add the plate directly on top, just like that. Press down. And there you go, you have your cake stand. Now, I'm going to leave this to dry, and I recommend leaving it for at least an hour. So, there's the first cake stand, and I'm actually, when I'm done with this, I'm going to paint it black and add some bling. So, I'll definitely show you the pictures um, in the process of me doing that on the next video. Now, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do a smaller one. We need some variation in size here at the table. Um, this would also be perfect for um, a cupcake. So I'm just taking the stickers off the back of this plate and these stickers are stuck on really good this time. And I want to tell you also this um, candlestick holder I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to warn you that this exact same candlestick holder I found at Hobby Lobby for $2.99. So do not get it at Hobby Lobby. You can get it from from the Dollar Tree for only a buck. So, just wanted to let you guys know about that. So, um, now that you got the sticker peeled off of the back of your plate, what we're going to do is we're going to do the same exact process and we're going to apply the E6000 to the rim of the candlestick holder. Just like that. Now I'm sure that you guys could add jewels to the inside or flowers or something to the inside of the candlestick holder or goblet. I just chose to leave it empty. But, you know, to each its own. So if you wanted to do that, I'm sure that would look awesome. Now I'm going to put the plate, trying to center it as much as possible, and press it down. Just like that. So after this dries, I am going to go and I'm going to paint it with this Krylon um, paint. I'm going to paint it all black. And like I said, I'll show you in another video um, how I did that. So anyways, I hope that this helps you and I hope that you guys are able to make it. Definitely follow um, my blog for more DIYs and tips and tricks and baking t um, goodies. So, yep, I guess that's it. If you guys decide to make them, definitely stop by my Facebook page, The Gaudy Girl Exchange, or uh, Instagram, hashtag Gaudy Girl Exchange, and show me your creations. I'd love to see them. Thanks a lot, you guys. Bling and blessings.